I'm David. I'm the Technical Service Manager with IFS Coatings. Today, we're going to go over pencil hardness testing. Hopefully, you've already done a solvent test so we know that we have a good cure. In the pencil hardness testing, basically, we take a known hardness or softness of a pencil to see if it gouges down through the substrate or through the coating to the substrate. These things can go from B, which is soft, to H, which is hard or harder, depending on the type of uh, pencil that you have. Numerical denominations also can give you a hardness or softness of the pencil being used. In this case, a 2H or a 6H, where the 6H is harder than the 2H. Now, there is an ASTM standard, which is D3363 and which basically goes back to finding a known hardness of a coated surface. Now, there are some that have a fixed angle, like this particular unit that we have right here, or in some cases, it can be done by hand. With that, we're going to show you how to do the test. Now, this particular product that we have is our REL9003 Crystal White. And it has a, on the technical data sheet, it shows that it has a H to 2H range. We're going to use this device to do the testing. And this allows us to give us a known weight with the pencil. We'll insert the pencil into the machine. And then we will level it out and basically what we will do is we will push this along the surface and then see if we have any gouges in the substrate when we do the test and according to this we do not have any gouges down to the substrate so we could consider this as a pass. In the last shot we used the mechanical device. A lot of people will not have this particular unit and can also, with the pencils, do it by hand. And basically what you will do is you will place the pencil and just using average pressure, push down and then go with a straight line. Now, based on that, we did not get any gouges into the substrate. So this would be considered at least an H pencil hardness for this application. Having good pencils from a supplier such as either BYK or there's also a brand Turquoise, you want to be consistent with these pencils and make sure that you are, have a high quality uh, supplier because it can inf affect the way you do this test. Uh, as I said, BYK is one of the suppliers. There are several others too, but just be consistent with the pencils that you get. Another thing too, when you're looking at our tech data sheet, you know, obviously it says what the range is. Now, if it does in fact fail, what you may want to do is go back and look at your time and temperature. As I said, on this particular product, it's a low cure, it's a 10 at 340 degree cure. If it fails and you have maybe a little bit thicker part, you want to make, go back, get it back into the oven, give it a little bit longer to fully cure. In some cases, you can over bake these products. If that be the case, you may have to redo the coating application. If you do run into a situation with overbake, you may have to go back and recoat the part. Because when you overbake it, you may run into a situation of degrading the resin system that is being used. So remember that if it's because of an overbake. Another thing too is you don't want to coat directly back over that overbake substrate because you can run into a situation of intercoat adhesion. And remember, if you do recoat the substrate, you do want to come back and redo the pencil hardness test 
to confirm that you do have or you do fall within the recommendations of the technical data sheet.